What would right. happen, in your view, if the president mm -hmm. fired Robert Mueller? Well, if it was without cause, it'd be, uh, holy hell would break out. I said that about Jeff. I can only imagine how the country would react if Robert Mueller were fired uh, just because the president liked the investigation. Now, if you show me a reason why he should be fired, then somebody else will be uh, appointed in his stead. So my legislation is pretty simple. If Robert Mueller is fired, you're going to have a three-judge panel to review the firing to see if it meets the criteria of the Department of Justice regulations. I have no indication the president's going to fire Mueller. His lawyer said today, uh, uh, here recently, that uh, they want to get this over with as quickly as possible. They're going to uh, cooperate with the investigation. So Mr. Cobb has got the right attitude about how to deal with Mueller, I think. Okay. Now, do you, do you, there are some people who are worried about your legislation, that in fact, if you get judges, it, interjecting right. themselves into a presidential decision about what who is a subordinate let's face it the prosecutorial power of the Justice Department right. reports up through the exec the AG through to the president that's the executive presidents that's a presidential power under the right. Constitution does that bother you well that that's a really good question so my my approach is a bit different uh, Senator Tillis and Coons they have an approach that says the judges can reinstate uh, a fired special counsel. Okay. Well, I think that is an executive decision. My legislation says judges can review based on existing regulations and law whether or not it was proper, and I think that's, a, that's the right check and balance. Well, you mean so the review would be they can comment on it, they just can't reinstate. Is that the difference? Yeah, they can't reinstate. They can make a decision that it was uh, didn't meet the criteria of dismissal. Uh, then the, the political system would take over after that. All right, yeah, it would be essentially a political check and balance. Right. Let's talk about right. your health care bill. You're trying to do a Hail Mary here on yeah. health care after the failure of the Senate, right. you and Senator Cassidy yeah. of Louisiana. Yeah. I know you, you came to meet us this week yeah. to talk about it. Uh, I, I went and worked the phones a little bit and heard talk to some of your colleagues and I have to tell you, Senator, there isn't much appetite to go back to this uh, on, on the leadership. Are you finding any currency, any pickup for your legislation? I think we're dumber and dirt if we don't try again because <laughs> if you think you could go home as a Republican and say, well, we gave it our best shot, you have not. The block grant approach hasn't even been tried. Uh, the bottom line here is that the Republican governors are getting very excited about having a block grant sent back to them to replace Obamacare to get the money and power out of Washington. We got to September the 30th. Uh, I met with a parliamentarian. I'm excited. We'll have more flexibility under the block grant than people envision. So if the governors come out for the block grant, then I think the president will fall in line. He doesn't want to quit. So you cannot tell the Republican base or the country at large that we've taken our best shot at replacing an Obamacare because we have not. Well, and you have until that September 30 reference right. was to when the, the reconciliation exactly. process uh, ends and you have the ability before that date to pass something with 50 votes. But that yes. means 50 votes. And that, yep. what about your friend John McCain? He's the one who cast the decisive vote against right. the last reform. Is he going to be on board for this? Uh, I've talked to John several times. His governor is in charge of the formula. Four states under Obamacare get 40% uh, of the money. Uh, they're 20% of the population. So Arizona does very well under the block grant. Governor Ducey is working on the formula. Governor Scott Walker has been the intellectual heft here of trying to get the governors on board. So I think John would be very open-minded to a block grant. Let's put it through the committee process, then bring it to the floor. You can do this in a matter of days. So if the Republican governors come out in force for a block grant approach to replacing Obamacare, the president gets behind the governors, we're back into the ball game. And I think, yes, John McCain would be open to a uh, new policy with a new process. And I think we can get 50 votes. And as a matter of fact, I think we'll get more than 50 votes. West Virginia gets 43% increase under my block grant approach. You had the governor switch parties. Joe Manchin's a fine fella. Joe, Joe, I think, would go along with the idea of giving West Virginia more money and more power. All right. Uh, thank you, Senator Graham. We'll follow, see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when we come back, John Kelly sending